So analysis of the initial data indicated water ice mixed in the lunar regolith at relatively low concentrations, such as 0.3 to 1% by mass, uh, but up to a total of 300 million metric tons. So that's a considerable amount of water. So, the, But the trick is going to be able to extract that water into usable amounts from the lunar regolith when it's at such low concentrations. Now, what I'm quoting from goes back to 1991. So we've made considerable progress since then. And I would be interested in finding out uh, what would be the technological capacity now to extract water, ice, or water from the lunar regolith, which by the way is simply the pulverized material that has accumulated in some cases to great depths on the lunar surface that resulted from the repeated bombardment of hypervelocity projectiles onto the lunar surface, which is why there are so many hundreds of thousands of craters on the surface of the moon.